Okay, so now we have get all uh, the equipment that we need in our systems. And also we have the information of how much power do we need to uh, operate the pump so that it could pump uh, from the cooling tower to be ready to enter the preheater. Okay, so in this case, the, the pump power is 39 kilowatt. Okay, so now as we remember that um, this this working fit is pumped, it will enter the preheater here. So basically this the stream 0.3 and isopentane in is the same stream. But from high seas calculation, we can see that the stream 3, the temperature is 36.1. But in the isopentane in stream, the temperature is 35, which is our assumption at the initial condition. Okay, so we should use this uh, calculated value here, which is 36.1 as our input here. So we're gonna change that. So it would be 36.1, enter. And after that, uh, from the pump design, I change the outlet to be isopentan in. Okay, so now we have a closed loop and we can delete the stream tree. So stream tree basically just there for help us calculating the correct temperature for isopentane. Okay, so yeah, that's all. So we already have the closed loop of the geothermal binary power plant system. So uh, the amount of power that we can get is 773.3 kilowatt and the amount of power that we need to operate the pump is 39 kilowatt okay i think that's all hopefully this uh, tutorial can help you to create um, a binary system model in um, in high seas or maybe just to help to help you understand about the heat exchanger process and how to model it in uh, high seas aspect Okay, thank you and see you.